Young and the Restless as Vandals on Friday, June 12, teased that the audience would watch an encore episode aired on December 30, 2010. The episode will begin when Daniel Romilotti calls for Abby. Newman, said he was on his way to meet her at Jimmy's house. Daniel will leave Daisy Romilotti at the apartment with the ankle screen activated. Daisy would not like it. At Jimmy's house, Kevin and Allison will appear and talk to Daniel and Abby before they arrive at the hospital. Kevin will notify Daniel that he has changed his mind about adopting Daisy. Daniel will be glad to hear that, and the men will embrace. When the evening took place, Kevin would try to have a good time with Allison, but clearly his mind would turn to Chloe. Kevin won't be able to help but talk about Chloe, and Allison will wonder if Kevin loves Chloe. Kevin will refuse it, but the day will be ruined. Kevin will take off and outside he will see Chloe from afar wearing PJ's clothes. Chloe will run to see Kevin and tell him that she needs to see him before midnight, and she will continue to tell Kevin that she needs him, and he is the ducky girl. That would bother Kevin, who wouldn't be interested in being her best friend. Chloe will emphasize that Kevin is all she wants in a man plus he is her best friend. Chloe will beg Kevin to say what he feels, and he will say that he wants her. Chloe said the same thing and they would kiss passionately. Meanwhile, at the Crimson Lights, Kevin Fisher will briefly talk to Jenna Hawks, who will be eager to see him again after Jimmy's New Year party at Jimmy's house. Jenna will then take off. Chloe Mitchell will come next and wants Kevin to accompany her to the party. Kevin would say no, that he didn't want to be Chloe's companion anymore. Chloe would think that Kevin would spend New Year's Eve alone, but Kevin would point out something else when a woman named Allison came and Kevin kissed her. Chloe will be fooled and leave. Next, Daniel will go to Jimmy's house and meet Abby, while Jenna goes to the apartment to see Daisy. Jenna will say that she changed her testimony to the police and Daisy may soon be free. The two women will also talk about Jenna's plans later with Kevin. Suddenly, Daisy would have abdominal pain, and she would obviously go into labor. Daisy would not want to leave the apartment for fear of being arrested, but Jenna would think about what's best for the baby. Jenna will call Daniel to say that Daisy is in labor. Daniel will say he will take care of the ankle screen. Abby will tell Daniel that she will go to the hospital with him at Chancellor's Mansion, Chloe will go home and talk to Esther Valentine, who will hear about Chloe's woes with Kevin. Chloe will complain about what Kevin said earlier, and then Esther will find Chloe in her cake and feel confused. After thinking about Kevin, Chloe would jump out of bed and run away from the mansion in her house. In prison, Adam Newman will speak to Leslie Michelson Shelby. Adam will say that Sharon Newman found Sky Newman in Hawaii. Adam would be in good spirits and he would ask Leslie that Sharon could visit him when she arrived in Geneva. At the airport, Jack Abbott and Phyllis Summers will meet Sharon as they are on their way to New York City. Sharon will fill Phyllis and Jack in what happened when she went to look for Skye in Hawaii, including Skye falling into a volcano and dying. Phyllis would scoff, thinking it was completely unbelievable, and Jack would be skeptical as well. Aaron will leave, and Jack and Phyllis will be stunned. Phyllis will soon receive a call from Daniel saying Daisy is in labor, so Jack and Phyllis will cancel their travel plans and go to the hospital. Elsewhere, Daisy and Jana will be in the car bickering, because Daisy doesn't want to go to the hospital and go to jail. Jana will decide to drive Jimmy's car to tell Kevin that the baby is on the way. However, when Jana pulled over to Jimmy, she would see Kevin kissing Chloe on the side of the road. Jana will decide that she doesn't care anymore and she will guide Daisy to run away and take the baby away. Jana will say that she will be happy because everyone will live in terror with Daisy on the run. Jana will go out, and Daisy will drive. Back at the prison, Sharon will go to see Adam and she will feel like a failure because he can't bring Skye back to her. Sharon will tell Adam about Skye's fate and Adam will worry that it could be Skye's foundation, but Sharon will say that Skye is really dead. Stay tuned for interesting episodes on our channel. Viewers will be watching an encore episode of Y and R aired on December 30, 2010. In this episode, Abby Newman will be at the New Year party. Daniel Romilotti will call Abby saying he is on the road and he will tell Daisy Romilotti that her ankle tracker is on and if she tries to escape, she will be arrested. Daisy will be upset when Daniel leaves the party. Next on Y and R, 
Jana will drop by to see Daisy and she will pay attention to the ankle screen that Daisy is wearing. Jana will tell Daisy that she changed her testimony to the police, and Daisy may soon be free. Jana would mention that she predicted to ring the new year with Kevin, and she would insist to a skeptical Daisy that she and Kevin would be on holiday and kissing in the middle of the night. Suddenly, Daisy would start to ache and grab her stomach. Jana will quickly realize that Daisy is in labor, and the baby is on the way. Daisy will refuse to go to the hospital and she will insist on staying in the apartment due to ankle tracking. Jana will think that Daisy needs to do the best for the baby, but Daisy will worry about going to jail if she leaves the apartment. Returning to Daniel and Abby, they will talk about their New Year resolutions and enjoy each other's company when Daniel receives a call from Jana saying Daisy is in labor. Daniel will say that he will meet them at the hospital, and he will see that the ankle screen is off. Abby will insist on going to the hospital with Daniel. At the Crimson Lights, Kevin Fisher will encounter Jana Hawks. Jana will hear about Jimmy's house party from Kevin, and she will know that the party is open to the public. Jana will say she will meet Kevin there. Chloe Mitchell will come, wanting Kevin to go to a party with her. Kevin will refuse, saying that he doesn't want to be Chloe's companion anymore. Chloe will tell Kevin to enjoy New Year's Eve alone. Kevin will say he doesn't spend the night alone. Soon, Allison will come and Kevin will kiss her, which will make Chloe sad. Back with Jimmy, Daniel will come to Abby and he will say that he feels pretty sure he will get rid of Daisy soon. Abby will think that Daniel seems relieved, and Daniel will say that unlike his relationship with Abby, 2010 was a bad year for him. Daniel will say that he is ready for next year and to get rid of Daisy. Chloe will go to the Chancellor Mansion and will talk to Esther Valentine. Esther will know that Chloe has decided to skip the party at Jimmy's house. Esther will then check on Chloe and Chloe will sink into sorrow in cream and pajamas. Chloe will understand Kevin and Esther will think that Chloe likes Kevin. Chloe will reminisce about the good times with Kevin, which will make her feel inspired, and she will jump out of bed and run out, with Esther speechless. Meanwhile, at Jimmy's house, Kevin and Allison will come and Kevin will talk to Abby and Daniel. Kevin will tell Daniel that he changed his mind about adopting Daisy. Daniel will be especially grateful for that, and Kevin will introduce Allison to Abby and Daniel. Kevin will try to be with Allison, but everything will remind him of Chloe. Next on Y&R, Jana will drop by to see Daisy and she will pay attention to the ankle screen that Daisy is wearing. Jana will tell Daisy that she changed her testimony to the police, and Daisy may soon be free. Jana would mention that she predicted to ring the new year with Kevin, and she would insist to a skeptical Daisy that she and Kevin would be on holiday and kissing in the middle of the night. Suddenly, Daisy would start to ache and grab her stomach. Jana will quickly realize that Daisy is in labor, and the baby is on the way. Daisy will refuse to go to the hospital and she will insist on staying in the apartment due to ankle tracking. Jana will think that Daisy needs to do the best for the baby, but Daisy will worry about going to jail if she leaves the apartment. Returning to Daniel and Abby, they will talk about their New Year resolutions and enjoy each other's company when Daniel receives a call from Jana saying Daisy is in labor. Daniel will say that he will meet them at the hospital, and he will see that the ankle screen is off. Abby will insist on going to the hospital with Daniel. Allison will make some disparaging comments about Chloe, but Kevin will protect Chloe. Allison would wonder if Kevin loved Chloe, and Kevin would say no, then he would apologize for ruining their date together. Eventually Kevin will leave, and Allison will stay at the party. Outside, Kevin would see Chloe, still in her pajamas, from across the street. Chloe will say that she needs to see Kevin before midnight and that's why she's still wearing pajamas. Chloe will sincerely beg Kevin to call him Ducky. Kevin will not say that he is not a movie character but a close friend of a top woman. Chloe will go on, saying that Kevin is all she wants plus he is her best friend. Chloe would be afraid of Kevin hating her, but Kevin would say that he wasn't, and Chloe would beg him to tell her what he really felt. Kevin will say that he wants Chloe, and Chloe will return to affection. Chloe and Kevin will kiss passionately. Meanwhile, at the prison, Adam Newman will tell Leslie Michelson Shelby that Sharon Newman has found Sky Newman in Hawaii. Happy that Sharon had come to him, Adam would ask Leslie to let Sharon meet him when her flight landed. Meanwhile, 
Daniel will come to the hospital before Daisy and Jana, who will sit in the car arguing. Daisy didn't want to go to the hospital because she didn't want to go back to prison. Daisy will declare that Kevin and Jana cannot have children and she will want to be outside prison. Jana will drive Jimmy's car to tell Kevin that the baby is on the way, but she will see him kissing Chloe. Jana will then tell Daisy to run and pick her up, and she doesn't care anymore. Daisy will be confused, and Jana will say that she is happy that everyone will live in terror with Daisy. Jana will get out of the car, and Daisy will drive away while Jana sees Chloe and Kevin continue kissing from across the street. Next on Y&R, at the airport, Jack Abbott and Phyllis Summers will be surprised to see Sharon there. Jack and Phyllis will leave New York on New Year's Eve and Sharon will return from Hawaii. Sharon will tell Phyllis and Jack that she has a lot of stories to tell, and Sky's perfume has been delivered to the P.O. Box in Hawaii. Sharon would go on to say that she had discovered that Sky was living in Hawaii, but Sky had fallen into a volcano and died. Sharon will say that Adam did a lot of wrong things, but he didn't kill Sky. Phyllis would think the whole story was unbelievable and so was Jack. Sharon will leave, and Jack and Phyllis will not know what to believe. Jack will tend to think that Sharon is telling the truth, because Sharon is not a liar. Phyllis will disagree and she will continue to believe that Adam killed Skye in Geneva. Phyllis will then receive a call from Daniel saying that Daisy is in labor. Jack and Phyllis will give up their travel plans and rush to the hospital. Finally, on Y&R's Encore episode on Thursday. Sharon will visit Adam at the prison and she will complain that she failed because he didn't have Sky with him. Sharon will tell Adam that when he wanders, Sky falls into a volcano. Adam would think the whole thing was a trick to Sky, but Sharon would say that Sky was dead. Sharon will feel terrible when they have nothing to torment Adam. Adam will remain optimistic, telling Sharon that 2011 will be their year. Search for interesting episodes on our channel.